So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the Altair One portal. My goal is to help you make the most out of all the features that are included. The portal itself is basically a hosted environment where Altair users can find anything that you're looking for. To start, make sure you've created an account and that you're on altair1.com and it'll take you to the home landing page. The first feature I want to talk about is HPC or high performance computing. So if you have the right licensing, this lets you borrow computing power from Altair to run those computation heavy jobs. Users can upload their studies, choose their solver, and then run the simulation all from the same portal interface. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Altair drive. This is basically cloud storage for users to store their CAD or simulation files. Every user gets just over one terabyte of storage to start. And then you can share files amongst your team and that really makes for a more collaborative data management environment. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the community and support. This link here will take you to community.altair.com and from that landing page you can access a lot of really helpful information like forums and user groups and all of those can be product specific. And that just really helps you find what you're looking for faster. So next let's look at the knowledge base. This holds a ton of good technical documents like ebooks, conference presentations, white papers, and more like that. And again, when you get in there, you can drill down by product to make it really easy to find what you're looking for. Okay, so now let's look at the Altair Exchange. One of the benefits of the Altair tools is that they're open architecture, and you can write scripts to customize your experience in it. Now, the Exchange is a place where you can share and download those scripts and models with all other users that are similar. Now, the great thing here is that you don't have to recreate the will in many situations. Use an existing script and speed up your process that way. The next option is to contact support directly. You can also contact the True Insight support team by emailing support at trueinsight.io. Then let's look at the documentation section. This really is a bounty of technical documentation for each product that includes product manuals, product release notes, tutorial, and even model files. So hopefully you can see the community is really there to help users find technical documentation for whatever product they're looking for. Now let's look at the marketplace. You can access that from the homepage or the URL is just altair1.com slash marketplace. And the marketplace is basically a digital catalog to help you find the software you're looking to download. There are search options over here on the side if you know the product name or you can use any of the filters that are automatically set up for you. Those filters include licensing suite or the end use application or the platform that you're gonna be uh, working on as well. So it really makes it easy for you to find that software you're trying to download. Now, if you click on any of these different product cards, you'll get a lot more information on that specific tool. Then you can also see the download links are here as well. Then if it's a frequently used software, you can click that little yellow star on the product card and that'll add it as a favorite app. You can see up here on my side menu, there is an option for those favorite apps. And that just makes this navigation a lot simpler for you. And then the My Apps option will limit the product cards to just those tools that your units will give you access to. Okay, so now I wanna show you some more of the administrative features of the portal. This little nine dot menu on the upper left-hand corner will pop out an additional side menu. Then under the Manage Accounts section, find the Managed Licenses option. Now under this, the dashboard will show you how many units are currently checked out from your pool of units. Then under the license setting, click on Managed. So from here, you can see license usage. And if you're an administrator, you can see that for your entire team. You can also pull usage logs to see what tools they're using and how often they're using them. If you want to assign permissions or restrictions to a group of people, you can create that group here and then go to the feature restrictions or the borrowing limitations to limit their access to a number of units that they can use to check out or specific softwares. And then if you're on the IT side, you can even set allowable IP addresses. Okay, so now let's head over to the left-hand side and click on users. This lets you add or modify any users that are currently on your team. And then once they're onboarded, you can apply restrictions or limitations as needed on a one-off basis as well. 
You see, if I click on a specific profile, I have a few options on how I can actually customize each user on my team. In addition to that, I can also look at last login dates, or again, if you're in IT, you can see authorized machines for that user as well. So most of those features were for the administrators for the accounts. Now, if you're not an administrator, that's okay. You can click on the user profile from that side menu and you can just see your information. Okay, so two more links I wanna show you. If you come back up to this nine dot menu on the upper left-hand side, under the resources side, click on the online help. Now what this will give you is help for the portal itself, not for products. But then if you scroll to the bottom of the page, you can get online help for all the individual products as well. Okay, one last really helpful feature. From that same nine dot menu, go to under resources and find the learning center. Now this is gonna take you to a training portal where you can access self-paced, e-learning, online, instructor-led, or even product certification trainings. All of this is completely free to Altair customers. So just find the class you wanna take by narrowing down the options using these check filters, then click on the class you want, and then you can hit enroll. That's pretty much it. Hopefully this gave you a good foundation on the really powerful features of the portal. For more information or to contact us directly, go to www.trueinsight.io.